Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to enable and set up a VPN in Chrome. Now, the first step is going to be to go to the Chrome Web Store and just search for a VPN. Now, there's going to be a ton of them that are going to show up. It can be quite overwhelming at first. I have personally tested out many different VPNs and I found that the top three overall are going to be this one right here, ExpressVPN, NordVPN and Surfshark. And if you want to find out more about any of these, there will be a bunch of useful links and information in the description below. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be demonstrating with ExpressVPN. So you would just search for whichever VPN it is that you're looking for. I'll be going with Express. Once you're on this page over here, it's going to say add to Chrome. And then you just click on that and automatically the extension will be added into the top right of your browser. You're going to see it show up right there. Once you're here, you could just X that and you would want to click on the little puzzle piece in Chrome and go down to your extensions and click pin. Now you'll have the actual VPN extension right there pinned on top of your browser and you can just click on that. When you first set it up, you might get asked a bunch of questions just to get everything set up properly. And then once you're through that, you will actually have the VPN itself. And that's really all there is to getting ExpressVPN set up in Chrome. Now, once you're here, I can have my location selected to the USA, New Jersey. I can click on connect. And in just a second or two, I'm connected up to a US server and any website I visit will think that I'm in the United States. So for example, if I was outside of the United States and I wanted to watch a show on Netflix that was only available in the US, I'd be able to go into ExpressVPN, connect to the USA right here and go into Netflix and I would be able to access and watch that content. Now that you know how to install and use a VPN extension in Chrome, there are a few other things you should know. First of all, some of these extensions aren't a VPN application themselves. They're a remote control to your desktop app. And that's the case with this ExpressVPN extension right here. If I would open up the ExpressVPN desktop app, it would mirror exactly what is in the extension. And if I would change the location, let's say I would go into my extension and connect to a server in India. If I would now go back to the desktop application, it would also be connected to a server in India. The browser extension isn't a VPN in and of itself. It's just a remote control for the actual desktop application. Now, for a lot of people who want the extension in order to be able to quickly access their VPN without minimizing their browser or going over to a different application or something like that, you just wanna be able to quickly get into the VPN. This is fine and this will do the job. However, there are VPNs where the extension is a totally new VPN. For example, with NordVPN and Surfshark, both of their extensions are a totally new independent VPN. So for example, if I would go into the NordVPN extension and I would connect to a server in the United States, now if I would go into the NordVPN desktop application, you can see that I am not connected. These are running as two independent VPNs. Now for some people, it might be unnecessary to have your extension as a totally new VPN and one that's going to be more limited in terms of what it can do compared to the desktop application. But for other people, it might be very useful. For example, if you just wanted a VPN running on your browser and not on everything on your computer using the internet. With the desktop application, everything connected to the internet is going to be using the VPN connection. But with the VPN extension, only what you do in that specific browser is going through the VPN connection. On top of that, with NordVPN, you can actually go into the settings over here on the bottom right, go to connection and there's split tunneling. With this, you can actually add specific domains and exclude them from the VPN. So you can actually choose which websites you visit in the browser you want to have using the VPN connection. So while an extension like ExpressVPN is just a remote control to the desktop app and to everything connected to the internet, with a VPN extension like NordVPN, you can have really granular control over exactly what goes through the VPN connection. Now, just some other quick points over here. All three of these VPNs, Express, Nord, and Surfshark can be downloaded not just on Chrome, but also on Firefox and Edge. And while these are paid VPNs, and I know if you go to the Chrome Web Store, you're probably going to see a bunch of free options. I generally don't recommend free VPNs. 
And the reasons for that are very simple. First of all, most of them just don't work well. They won't do what you want a VPN for. For example, like I said, if you want to use a VPN in order to stream content from different parts of the world, most free VPNs can't handle that. And even if they can get you through to the website, it'll be extremely slow and very laggy. On top of that, most free VPNs have a data limit. And on top of that, most free VPNs are not very secure. They actually keep and store your personal information and sell it to third parties in order to make a profit. So if you're really looking for the best overall VPN, experience, I would either go with Express, Nord, or Surfshark. And I'll be sure to leave full in-depth reviews for each of these in the description below, as well as discount links that will save you some extra money in case you do decide to try them out. They all have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can take advantage of that in order to try out these VPNs and see if you like it and see if you think that they're worth the money. And if you find that it isn't for you, you can just contact customer support and get a full refund. Otherwise, you use the discount and you got a good deal. So that's going to be it for this video guys let me know in the comments which vpn you decide to try out thank you so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next one